my name is Katrina Garrett and I am so glad to be on YouTube right now. I have been trying to plan this to get on YouTube. Uh, my name is Katrina Garrett and I am an educator and I'm an author now. I didn't even bring my book this way so I can go get my book. But yeah, I'm an author now and I also do a podcast called Beautifully Seasoned. And this podcast is for women over 40, but you know I've been looking at the data and I've been giving a lot of women who are under 40 who have been really inspired by my podcast. But what I want to do is just come out and just talk to you about living your best life. This is not the end for us. We have so much to live for despite our experiences, in spite of our life changes. And so that is why I am doing this YouTube video. I'm telling you, it took me a while to get a little courage, okay? Because I'm like, okay, my hair going to be right, what I'm going to wear. But you know what? I think the main thing is that I want you to get inspired by this. And just to know that, you know what, ladies? It's time to rise up. It is time to rise up. We have so much to do in the world. We still have some stuff to do. We still have our purpose to live in. So I have rolled out some notes about how we can live our best, our best life. Now, first of all, I just want to share with you what brought all of this about. Okay, why did I write the book, A Standing Inside Myself, A Journey of Self-Love, Wisdom, Power, and Purpose? Why did I write that book? And why did I start the podcast? After all, I mean, I remember years ago I wanted to do a podcast, but you know, I really didn't have a whole lot I wanted to say at the time. In other words, I don't feel like I was really inspired yet. But you know what? It's something about life changes that will just inspire you. <laughs> and so that life change was that uh, I my marriage was ended. Um, you know, it was a betrayal situation. It really broke my heart. And I was just really in a dark place. And while I was in that dark place, ladies, I'm telling you, um, and I know a lot of you have been at that way as well. But one thing I, re I realized in that dark place is that Something happens inside of us when we're in those dark places, when we have those life-changing moments. Things happen. It's like, I don't know, you just get inspired or you find that strength and you find that resilience. And I just wanted not no one. I don't want anyone, man or woman, to go through what I went through with that heartbreak because I was really, I was really convinced that that was my soulmate and you know sometimes when we hold on to things and we really feel that that is the thing like this is it i mean this is the love i, I love this person and that person betrays you in some kind of way or just walks away and it's just like crushing so it, it also tests us it tests us when we able to pick up ourselves and move on and it's also transformative. It's transformative. So, yeah, that is the reason why I'm here, really. I just want to share with you my wisdom. And then I also want to share with you some of the things that I talk about on my podcast. And one of those things is how to live our best life and how to rise up. Rise up. <laughs> rise up above those life changes. And I know it might not be heartbreak for you. It might be an illness that you're tackling. It might be something going on with your children. It may even be finances. And right now, we know with this pandemic, we have a lot of challenges that we are facing. And some of those challenges are also mental challenges, mental imbalances, okay? Depression, isolation. And so, you know what, ladies? That's why I'm here because it's not all about me. It's about me sharing out to you. And like I said before, when I was going through that place of heartbrokenness, I was broken, I was crushed. Um, I just really felt that I needed to just reach out and help another sister. I just had that inside of me that I wanted to just inspire and motivate. And so that's what I'm doing now. So, yeah, we're going to talk about living our best life. Yes. And so, you know what, before I start, I want to add to your spiritual garden. And I got some notes here that I'm going to write so that I have wrote notes down. But this is your spiritual garden, meaning um, how are you connected spiritually? How are you connected spiritually to your God? Okay, and what I'm adding to your spiritual garden is that I'm usually, usually give you a type of scripture. If you want to meditate on that scripture or if you just want to just learn it and it could be in your head. 
And then that way, when you go through those feelings, oh, those bad feelings, you can bring up that scripture. Because those are like promises from God, okay? So, Jeremiah 29, 11. You know I'm going there. 29, 11, Jeremiah. For I have plans to prosper you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So I just want to tell you, no matter what has happened in your life, no matter what challenges that you've been through, and I know some of those challenges are probably very crushing and, and just disturbing and traumatic, whatever they are, always know that God got your back. God has your back. I want you to really believe that because it does get better and, and you will feel better. But I also want to tell you that we're going to move on, ladies to live our best life. You know, if you're over 40 like me, I'm way over 40, but we still got a lot to learn. We still have a lot to live for. We have a lot to just give out to the world. And I'm just hoping that you just grasp this information that I want to share with you. And I also want you to remember, right behind me, I have a reminder here, and it is, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I want you to really remember that you are, you have been created uniquely, not like anyone else. And you have gifts and you have treasures inside of you, no matter how old you are. I don't care if you have one leg, one eye. I don't care if you eight 800 pounds or one pound. I really don't care about that. I care about what's inside of you. You still have something to give and offer to the world. Okay, so I want you to hang on to that. I want you to hang on that you are valuable and that you have self-worth no matter who walked away. And you know what? That's that's something evolving. That's what we evolve with. Because when somebody walks away and betrays us, it's almost like it's something wrong with us. Like, man, I'm not good enough. And like, wow, you know, I'm trying all this stuff. And you know us. Women, we are nurturers. We are nurturers. We just want to take care of you. We want to love you up. And you know we love our men. We do. We love our men. We love them. Okay? But we know sometimes they make these decisions. And whatever it is, we try to conform. And you know how we are. We try to conform to what they want. But no matter what, even when they walk away because they're human and they have issues sometimes too. We have to know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and that we are worthy no matter what. And it's not only because what he's, he don't want you, God wants you. And you know what? This is what this is about. You want yourself. You want yourself. So the first thing I want to talk to you about, and I got my little notes here because I can't prepare. Yep, you know I'm an educator, so I'm all about writing notes. <laughs> so I want to talk about to rise up, we must remember to reinvent ourselves. We're not going to be the same after that heartbreak, after that though, surviving that illness, after going through a financial collapse, whatever that is. We're not going to be the same. So now we are in the process of reinventing ourselves. We're going to make ourselves new. We're going to just flow along with this transformative process, okay? We're going to get better by forgiving and allowing ourselves to be our best life. That forgiving piece is really big. And that's something that I'm still evolving because it's like, how can you do this to me? <laughs> okay? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? But we know I'm telling you, ladies, we know that God has a plan for everything. And sometimes things happen because God is protecting us. It may be that they knew conversations. I heard this one time. Conversations that are said that God knows about that you don't know about. I'm sitting up here just coming along. like, And I don't even know conversations that said behind my back. I don't know what people are doing and what they're saying and what they're planning. So sometimes God just snatches people up out of your life because they're not good for you. And maybe it was just for a season. And I talk about that in my book, Standing Inside Myself, A Journey of Self-Love, Wisdom, Power, and Purpose, about the whole aspect of seasons, okay? And that's something that I, was, I didn't want to hold on to because I was convinced that he was my soulmate. I was convinced of that, but I, now I do realize slowly, I think just the Holy Spirit is just working with me and just giving me more insight, more insight as I just get more closer to him, okay? 
So we are not too old. It is not too late, ladies. We are not too old. It is not too late. I don't care. Look. I am going to still be shining even when I'm 80 years old. We got to shine. We have to shine. We are still beautiful. And no, we're not 20 and 30 anymore. But that's okay. That's okay. We've been there. And we've gotten our wisdom. And we've had that time. But whatever age that you're in now, I want you to just embrace it and love it. And love, love upon yourself. Love upon your family. And just exude that, that joy and that peace and that self-worth and that self-respect that you have. Okay? I just do not like to see ladies just walking around with their head down and their their shoulders crunched over and oh it looks like I'm kind of I'm kind of off kilted here <laughs> crunched over and just letting the world just wear them down and a lot of times it's because we're giving so much and that's great that's just our nature that we give but we have to remember that we have to feed ourselves too so that we can be strong and we can be powerful. And then that way we're able to help others better. Okay. So another thing about uh, uh, another way to reinvent ourselves, we know that we have to rise up. We know that we, uh, we have to reinvent ourselves. We're not going to be the same. 2020 is, has changed us absolutely through this pandemic. So walking into 2021, we're not the same. We're not going to be the same. Okay, so we have to grow spiritually. Now, I don't know what you call your God. It really doesn't matter. But we know that there's a creator. We know that someone woke, woke us up this morning. We didn't do it ourselves. We didn't. Someone was there to help us and when we were going down that street that we didn't get in an accident. Okay, someone is there to help us see and hear or whatever it is. I, I'm telling you, we're here for a reason. And so we need to make sure that we connect with our spiritual selves. I really don't think how you can make it in the world walking and not have a spiritual part of you and not connect to your God in some way. Because we, we I mean, come on. We, I'm going to call you Beautifully Seasoned because that's the name of my podcast. So if I refer to you as Beautifully Seasoned, I mean you are beautiful and you're seasoned. And so you have these seasonings that from the world experiences and wisdom just all up in you. That, that good stuff, okay? So that's why I refer to you as being a Beautifully Seasoned woman. So we know Beautifully Seasoned ladies that this walk in life that we've learned so much and we know that there is a God. Like I said, name doesn't matter what you call them, but we know that there's a higher self. And so we have to grow spiritually with this. That was a challenge for me. I had to grow spiritually. I had one toe in and one toe out. I think I had the big toe in, but the other parts of my toes wasn't in. You know, well, my God, I did not do the devotion. I didn't do that. But I know all along the way, God was still blessing me, but I wasn't really giving him the time of day. But of course, when we go through heartbreak and when we go, go through these life-changing moments, it really does bring us to our knees. And we start looking up like, God, help me heal. Help this heartbreak. <laughs> because you know what? Tylenol won't help it. I'm telling you, Tylenol won't help it. And we know even a drink won't help it. Because a drink, you're going to wake up and you're going you're gonna to feel worse. Okay? It's not that. You have to dig deep inside. And you have to know who you are. And you know how to, you have to know who you are. And so that's why I refer to this. And that's why I have my scripture up here. That you are fearfully and wonderfully made, ladies. And that no matter what, God's got you. And I had to know that. Because I was really hurt. And I was really crushed. Okay? Because I invested a lot. I invested my heart into the relationship. Okay? So, yeah. You have to grow spiritually during this time. That's a part of reinventing, reinventing yourselves, beautifully seasoned women. Okay? We know about the pandemic. We know all the, the grief that it has caused us. And we know that, uh, you know, a lot of us, it's just that, that whole mental imbalance of being isolated and being away, you know, from people. And it's just so much is going on. And, you know, you might even have lost loved ones. You know, my daughters had the COVID-19. They both are nurses. And I was just praying for their recovery. It's like, please, Lord, because even though they're younger, there were people who were younger that also, you know, died from the, from the virus. Okay? So let's be really, really intentional 
about growing spiritually. So that we can have that armor, that armor on us. And we know that things are going to happen. And I didn't have the armor. But if I did, I probably won't be, wouldn't be feeling so bad and wouldn't be feeling so crushed. I know I've been hurt, but I was really hurt. It was like really, really nasty. Okay, so I'm just glad that, that God is just slowly, he's killing me, he's healed my heart, okay, and that I am starting to activate that self-worth and that self-value more than what he is saying. I can't go on what he's saying, okay, because I don't know who he's with, but you know, I can't, I can't live my life based on his perception, okay, I have to go on what I know about myself. And who I am as a woman and as a, a child of God, okay? Next, mindset change. Reinventing ourselves. We're going to live our best life, right? So that's what we agree about. We're going to live our best life. We have to change our mindset, ladies. We have to start thinking more intentionally. We have to be more positive, And we have to make sure that um, we, we're going to stop that procrastination. Because procrastination is putting things off. Always putting it off. Did you want to go back to school? You could do that. Go and call and ask about it. What is the, what's the benefits of it? What's the consequences of it? Well, you're going to maybe have an increase in your salary. You, you're going to be more marketable. You're going to know more. Okay? Learning is a lifelong process. Okay? So if that's something that you've been putting off, go ahead and call and make those steps. Make those small steps each day to get to that, okay? You don't have to solve it all in one day, but you might want to call and ask, how much is tuition? How much? How many classes do I need to get this degree or to get this certification? Do it. I don't care if you're 90 years old, do it. If that's something on your heart and that is part of your purpose, do it. Do it, ladies. We are living our best life. We, it's not over. And we're not too old, and it's not too late, okay? We are living our best life. Go ahead and call. If you're thinking about losing weight, you know that's a big one. We all struggle with trying to take off those extra pounds, and, and, and we, we all start in January. Oh, I'm going fast. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm not going to eat meat. I'm, I'm going to be a vegan. I'm going to exercise every day. How about doing it one step at a time? Okay, we're not taking it, we're not going to stop eating all together. How about taking it one step at a time? How about, okay, I'm going to drink more water instead of a pop. Okay, soda. I've given up soda. I might say occasionally, which is once a month, maybe I'll have one of those little small cans of, uh, of, of Coke just to get that taste. But it's so sweet because I drink a lot of water. But maybe we're going to start with water. Maybe we're going to start with smaller portions on our plate. Okay, stop the procrastinating. If you know what you need to do for your body, you, you do one at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. That's how we can get over that procrastination. We know that we want to do it, but sometimes it's a fear thing if we can really accomplish it, accomplish it. or maybe it's just that I don't know if I, I, I don't have the confidence to really follow it through, but you do. You have what it takes if you want to lose weight one step at a time, one step at a time, a smoothie in the morning, one step at a time, okay? Yeah, we, we and, and, and you know, the thing about that too, and as far as losing weight, we try to compare ourselves to people on TV, we compare ourselves with them, and we know a lot of men suffer from that, but we're not that, we are who we are, and we are real, and we are wonderful, and we are beautifully seasoned. So if you got the hips, the butt, if you can get some butt, give me some. Because I, I would like, I always want a big, big, big butt. <laughs> but whatever I have, I just love it. I love whatever I have. And so if he doesn't love it, if he doesn't want it, that's okay. Because I like it. I like who I am and I love what God, who God created me as. And so that is what we want to change in our mind. And so as far as with procrastination, we want to make sure that we are not comparing ourselves with anyone else. If we talk about being healthy, we talk about being healthy. We're not talking about looking like anyone else because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made us all unique and he made us all original. So remember that, okay, remember that. <laughs> so we're gonna stop that procrastination.
closet. I'm going to clean out that closet. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead one at a time. I was telling myself my uh, second bedroom that I was going to go and clean it out. And I was going to just not do it. I, told, I gave myself a deadline. And then I said, okay, maybe I'll wait the next day. But I had to honor my own word. You know, I had to honor my own work. I said I was going to do it, and so I went in there. I turned on my music, and I just started cleaning it out. I started straightening things up, and I really felt good. So you are going to feel a feel, have a feeling of accomplishment behind that. But procrastination, we have to change our mindset. We have to get things done. And even through this pandemic, we have to get things done, okay? Maximize that time, okay? Because TV gets boring. Okay, <laughs> that's why I got my podcast. I started making my podcast. So my podcast is beautifully seasoned. It's on Spotify. It's on all oh, seven other platforms: Google Play. Um, it's on iHeartRadio. So yeah, you could check out some podcasts. Check out my podcast. Okay. So yeah, there's so many things that we can do, um, and and we can start working on. Uh, building ourselves up, changing our man- mindset through stopping that procrastination, uh, getting positive as far as having positive affirmations, um, and how do we feel about ourselves. And I'm going to give you one that's so powerful. I, I mean, you're going to be full after I tell you this, these uh, affirmations. Also, through prayer, we change our mindset through prayer. That devotion in the morning that you just meet God in the morning and say, look, thank you, God, for keeping me through the night. Keeping me safe. Having me wake up and I have eyes and I can see the beautiful outside. I can smell. I can hear. Okay? So you want to wake up just, just feeling full and feeling happy and feeling joyful. No, everything in our lives aren't perfect. I know they're not. But whatever it is that's happening now, we're going to be content to where, where we are now. Be content. We're going to move forward. It's going to happen. Okay, so we get that through prayer, positive mindset, letting go of the past. (sighs) That's a big one. Letting go of the past. I'm telling you, I'm not saying that it is easy. Anyone who has hurt you, it is not easy. It's not. But I want you to be mindful that that hurts you because they have walked on and they live in their life. They live in our life, whether they did that to you or not, whatever they did. But you have to just trust God that we know karma is big. And we know that people, if you hurt people, sooner or later that's going to come back to you. Okay? If you hurt somebody. Okay? We know that. So we have to trust God in that situation. You don't have to do anything. Don't worry about it. But that is something that's on them. So let it go. I have to let go of the pain. I have to let go of the pain. And let go of what was. Because it's not. (laughs) It's not. What was is not. Okay? I have to get out of that denial. It wasn't that. So, yeah, that just takes time. And that's called healing. That's all. It's called healing. So, you know, it takes time to heal. But we're going to have that mindset where we want to let go. And we want to move forward. It is 2021. And I know it's going to be a fabulous year. I know it is. I know it is. I am convinced that this is going to be a fabulous year. And so I am ready. I am open. I'm receptive to whatever it is that God has for me. And I know that you're doing the same. Because after all, we want to live our best life. Right, ladies? Beautifully seasoned ladies. We want to live our best life, okay? So next, oh, I have down here to be grateful. Change our mindset. We have to be grateful for what we have. So whatever it is, no, we're not living on the beach. At least I know I'm not. I would love to. (laughs) We're not living on the beach, but we want to be grateful for all that we have. I used to remember my mom said, even if you have beans and rice in the cabinet, you're going to be grateful that you got that. And I want you to remember our ancestors. They had so much less than we have. And and they pulled that strength from God. You know, I talked about that in my podcast about, you know, even the, the, the historic ancestors like uh, Harriet Tubman. You know, it's, it's like these women, they, they just kept going. They kept going. They kept going. They didn't stop. And they lived their best life by bringing service. They brought service. But you know what? Just think about this, ladies. When we're going through, 
whatever we're going through, we're struggling through, okay? Whether it's heartbreak, whether it's our finances, it's things that's going on with our children, um, whatever it is. We have all these luxuries for us. We can take a hot spiritual bath. We can just lay back and just just in our beds with our fluffy pillows and our nice warm comfy bed. Okay, we can sit on the couch. We can have a glass of wine. Okay, a lot of us can just go maybe go well, now with restaurants here and there, but at one point to a restaurant and just have a nice little dinner. Okay, we have lotions that we could rub on our bodies, okay? We have our little makeup, we could do our hair, we could make ourselves feel good by doing those things. But our ancestors didn't have those luxuries. They didn't have that. Madam C.J. Walker, um, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, those women in history, they were so steadfast that through their heartbreak or whatever was going on, the injustices that was just just really gnawing at their hearts, they kept going. And so I have to think about that sometimes. And I'm thinking about this man breaking my heart. And that's not, I mean, it's so many worse things that can happen. And I'm not belittling that pain because that pain is real to me. But we have to be grateful for what we have. And right now we're able to, do. we have so much more to kind of soothe and comfort us. And then also, most of all, we have God. So we have to really reach out to him and trust him and what it, what it is that we're going through, okay? So we're going to be grateful to God us all, all our lives. Um, we're not going to lose sight of the things and people in our lives, no matter what we're going through. Uh, if it's our children, if it's our grandchildren, uh, just seeing their faces and loving them up, it's a lot to be grateful for. I know this pandemic has been crazy. This pandemic has been crazy. But we have so much to be grateful for. We do. We have so much. Okay? So let's not lose sight of that. If they left you, bless them and move on. If they hurt you or betrayed you or lied on you, just bless them and move on. That's prayer. That's prayer to get you to that point. But that beautifully seasoned, ladies, that's that wisdom from us. That's that wisdom that we've learned through the years in this world. We know that works. We know that works. So we're not one that slash tires. We're not one that be going to cursing people out. Don't say that we, we, we will speak our mind now. You can't come in our face doing that. You know, we, we nice, we elegant and everything. But like in my book, I say we heal from our, with our heels on. And what I mean by that is that we know that heels give us a certain elegance. It give us, uh, give us a certain regalness and when you wear heels. You don't walk the same when you wear heels. You walk with dignity. You walk with just, a, just a, a dignity about yourself. When you have heels on compared to when you have flats on, you take your time. You're intentional. And so with that, that's how we heal. We heal with, with being regal, being respectful, being a woman. We are beautifully seasoned women. So we're going to heal with elegance. Okay, so let's remember that we're going to bless them and we're going to move on because we have a purpose and we have gifts to share and we have our life to live and we're going to just keep on moving on. We, we still got a lot going on, ladies. We got a lot going on. Okay. All right. Let's move right along. We're still talking about living our best life, rising up, living our best life, physical. Now, we talked about mental. We talked about uh uh, changing our mindset, okay? We talked about spirituality. Now we're talking about physical, getting our, our diets together, our bodies together. Uh, I know that we're inside now. And even while it's gotten cold where I am, I do have my exercise bike, but I used to love the walking trail. I love the walking trail. Just being amongst the trees and the nature, it's just so fulfilling and it's so spiritual to me. So, but I haven't been out like that because it's cold. It's like 30 degrees out this way. So I do have my exercise bike. There's uh, so many YouTube videos that have uh, exercises on there that we can do. Let's get moving. Let's watch what we're eating. Barbecue chips, that's me. So sometimes I do. I'll get some because I'm like, I want these barbecue chips. But a lot of times I say, no, I have to just not give in to that. And that's a mental thing. 
you know, I, I know what that is going to do for me. So I want to get something that's more healthy. I have to be more intentional. I have to have some self-discipline. Because if I ate all I want to eat, I'll be, oh my God, I can't just eat everything I want to eat. And it's not healthy for me. We have gotten to the point that we have to really continue to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of our bodies. We have to take care of our bodies, ladies. That means feed our bodies so that we are eating to live and not living to eat. We are living to, we are not living to eat. Well, I mean, we're living to eat. <laughs> we're not even living to eat. You know what I'm talking about. It's a tongue, tongue twister. Okay? So we are, that's what we're doing. We want to make sure that we are living by eating right. Let's just say that. Okay? I don't know why this seems like it's just crooked. I'm sorry. It's just bothering me when I'm looking at that. Okay? So, I want you to remember that eating healthy, living peacefully. I know some people that have like meditation rooms and they're like a prayer area or like an altar area. Okay, beautifully seasoned women. We are beautifully seasoned. So we should have like maybe a Bible, maybe a candle or some space that we can just talk to God and just get quiet and get still so that we can hear what God tells us to do. Okay, um, so that is part of being healthy. Okay, we know the eating vegetables, more vegetables. Okay, a lot of a lot of women are talking about going vegan. And so what going vegan is just like giving up all dairy and all meat. You don't have to do that. It's up to you. But whatever it is, we're trying to live our best life. And we can only live our best life if we take care of ourselves. That's also including exercise, our skin regimen. Whatever it is, we're taking care of our skin. And we know water is a big part of that. A big part. And stress, lowering our stress level. And a lot of times with that stress, we are worried, we, we are holding animosity against someone, and that we're taking that all in internally. And so we don't want to do that. I, I'm not going to let somebody else have me have pimples on my face because, I, because of what they did to me, but I'm holding it in, and so I'm showing it. I'm reflecting it in my face. Mm -mm, you're not doing me like that. No, I, I can't give you that power. So we have to be mindful of that. Okay, uh, be aware and intentional about uh, your appearance, um, e even going to the store. And, and, you know, beautifully seasoned women, you know, I know about our younger sisters, they go with the pajama pants on. And some of them with those, the flip-flop shoes with the fluffy tops. I, you know what, I, you know, the trends nowadays, I, <laughs> but you know what, I don't dress up, but I dress up when I go to the store. And that, don't, that doesn't mean I'm going out, out. But I do make sure that I'm decent. And that's just for me. That's a reflection on me and how I feel. And so we have to be mindful of that. Just our parents. Just taking care of ourselves. I am doing remote learning now because I'm an educator. And so I'm just talking, just like I'm talking to you. I get up. I even put perfume on. After I shower, put my clothes on. <laughs> I'm, just on I'm just on a video with my students. <laughs> to show up being full i want to show up being complete for them and giving them the best that i can give them okay so yeah so just take care of ourselves no matter what all right <laughs> and then also i have here um our dress our voices how do we respond to people our attitudes all of that has a lot to do with living our best life and reinventing ourselves. Now, we know we have our own other things that we have to deal with. We have things that we know that we need to work on, and that's a personal thing. And that's part of being real with yourself and being true with yourself. And so, in my book is walking and uh, standing inside with myself. I had to stand up inside myself. Okay, I might have been crushed down, I might have been in a corner, crushed, hurt, um, but I had to find a way to stand up inside myself. And stand up is a victory move. That's a victory move. And so that's what we're doing when we're reinventing our lives. Okay, we're standing up in our own truth. And our own truth is a, is a whole personal story. That's a personal thing, okay? You know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You have to believe that. That is part of being in your best life. You have to own your own transformation. And so we're transformative. 
even from uh, 2020 to 2021. We are transforming. We're not going to be the same. And if we have any kind of trauma that happened in our lives, we're not going to be the same. I know I'm not the same. I know I'm not after being heartbroken. I'm not bitter, but I know that I'm more aware. I think my wisdom has heightened. I know it has. I've learned to love myself more because I'm taking the time to really work on me, to nourish me, okay? And then nourish me. Just, just responding. Simple things is responding to certain things, not snapping off on people. Okay, not letting little things get in, get get you all, okay, <laughs> get all messed up if somebody said something. It's okay. It's all right. Beautifully sees the women. We know we can do this. Okay, it's all transformative. So we have to own it. We have to own our own truth. We have to walk in that truth and who we are. And we want to get better because we want to live our best life. Okay, um, what, uh, lastly but not least, I want to talk about creating a goal for the year 2021. I'm actually working on my action plan because there's some things that I want to do. Oh, man, I'm just, I'm so excited, you know, about just the possibilities and opportunities, okay? So I am working on my action plan or what I want to accomplish this year, and I just, I, I suggest that you do the same, okay? Um, we're going to get out there and run. No procrastination. We're going to get out there and run. Okay? So we're moving forward to be better. We're moving forward to be who we were meant to be authentically. And we're working from the inside out. We're working from the inside out. Because that inside is going to overflow to that outside. Okay? Yes! <laughs> getting excited for you already. I'm getting excited for you. <laughs> okay? And then last but not least, we want to feel good in 2021. So living in our best life is feeling good. Feeling good. And feeling good is what? Whatever it takes. What's your favorite song that you could put on that just, you go, oh, that's my song, girl. You know, we go through that. Like, oh, man, I remember that song. Oh, and just the, the memories of that song. What feels good to you? I love dancing, so I'll be dancing. I'm rolling. Girl, please, don't. you better ask somebody. I would dance, I'm telling you, I love to move, and that makes me feel good inside. So I'm going to find those opportunities to dance. And you know what? I can't. All I got to do is put on music and dance. That's it. <laughs> if that makes me feel good, okay? Also, I can, I can listen to comedy. I can listen to um, uh, any of my favorite comedians, okay? Or a comedy movie to get some laughs or talk to a friend who is very funny and then always joking around. Or I could do something uh, to provide or uh, help someone in the community, okay? Um, and get somebody a service. Also, you know what, ladies? And last but not least, I can learn something new. I can learn a new language. I can learn uh, just about anything that I want to learn. And so learning something new is always exciting too. Okay? <laughs> so those are just a few things that I wrote down as far as my notes on uh, rising up, rise up woman, and live your best life. And so this is my first YouTube episode. It's, I'm going to be coming to you and I'm going to be talking about some things because we're all in this together. I feel that we're all part of the same DNA. So we all in this together. And so ladies, let's just make this 2021 the best. I'm telling you, it's going to be all right. And like I said, heartbreaks did me to do this. I really want to reach out to sisters. I want to reach out sisters like me who have been through some things and just want to hear an encouraging word. And so let's grow spiritually. Let's be intentional to what we're doing. Let's change our mindset, okay? Let's be grateful. We can do this. And so last but not least, I want to share with you, um, I was listening to Joel Osteen, and he says this at the beginning of his service. And so I wrote it down, and I said, I, I, I said it in my podcast. And remember, my podcast is Beautifully Seasoned. And so it's on Spotify, it's on Anchor FM, it's on um, a lot of platforms. But if you put um, put that in a Spotify, it will come up. But I said I was going to end the, spot of the podcast with this. Uh, but I'm going to end my YouTube videos with this too. So I want you to take this in. It's powerful. So get ready. You better hold on to something. Okay? And I'm going to put in you. I'm going to put in you are. 
You are blessed, prosperous, redeemed, forgiven, talented, creative, confident, secure, disciplined, focused, prepared, qualified, motivated, valuable, free, determined, equipped, empowered, anointed, accepted, and approved, not averaged, not mediocre. You are a child of the Most High God. You will become all you was created to be. In Jesus' name. I love that. Oh my God. When he said that, I was like, let me write it down. I was freezing it, freezing the screen, but write it down. That is what you are. So I want you to remember that as we go on this journey of 2021 and reinventing ourselves. And I am going to see you next time. So please tune in and please subscribe. You know, so subscribe, subscribe, okay, to this channel because I'm going to be bringing you some more. We're going to be talking and we're going to get, girl, we're going to be, I'm telling you, over 40, we got it. We got this lady. Beautifully seasoned ladies, we got this. So I'm hoping to see you next time and I love you and you have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Take care.